I'd like to thank everyone for joining us here today. Before we get started, let me explain the format for today's press conference. Uh, in a moment, I'll turn the program over to our Director of Athletics, Brad Bates, for some brief comments and the introduction of our new head football coach. After Coach Adazio has spoken, he and Brad will take the questions. Uh, as today's press conference is being streamed live on the internet, please raise your hand so we can get you a microphone if you have a question. And uh, following the press conference, both gentlemen will be available at the front of the room. Uh, Four of our student athletes will be available in uh, the hallway. We have quarterback Chase Reddig, wide receiver Bobby Swigert, uh, defensive end Kasim Edibali, and linebacker Steele DeVito. Uh, they'll be available for your questions just outside the room. With that, I'll turn it over to our director of athletics, Brad Bates. Thanks, Chris. The mantra of Boston College is ever to excel. And today we celebrate a leader who thrives in the context of daily striving for excellence. On November 25th, we announced a coaching change. And in the past nine days, our process was thorough, meticulous, and deliberate. The process included conversations with NFL owners, NFL coaches, athletic directors, college coaches, conference commissioners, executive directors, the students on our team, and an astonishing breadth of Boston College alums who are experts on the sport of football. Through these interactions, and program, uh, a programmatic needs analysis was developed that defined a profile of head coach to match our current needs. And of the many weighted variables that emerged were three clear priorities. First, we need a leader who sincerely and genuinely cares about student formation and development and wants to have a relationship with his team and the BC community. Our head coach has a strong history of facilitating a family culture within the program that exudes the concept of team. Second, we need someone with a contagious passion for his students and the sport that inspires people to excel. For those of you who have yet to meet Steve, buckle up. Finally, we need a coach who has a history of winning and building championship programs. Our next head coach has an exemplary record of competitive success that includes two national championships. And so it is within the framework of ever to excel in this deliberate process that brings us together today. And I am honored to introduce Steve Adazio as Boston College's head football coach. Uh, good afternoon. I want to thank you for coming out. This is truly a great day, an exciting day. I'm very humbled. And I'm very honored to stand here as your head football coach at Boston College. This is my dream job. I've spent my life, my coaching life, I've been in a lot of great places. And everywhere I've been, and all the friends that know me and the people that I've worked with, knew that I wanted to one day be here at Boston College. The messages I've received, I get the same message. We're so happy for you. We always knew this is where you wanted to be. Dreams come true. Two years ago, I had a chance to get back to the Northeast in Philadelphia, and my wife and my family couldn't be more thrilled. And now I have a chance to come to New England, which is truly home and we're just ecstatic. My dream was to come to a university, to Boston College, that embraced and was all about the family concept. I grew up in a strong family with strong faith, and I have an opportunity to now lead a football program within a tremendous family with strong faith. 
my wife, my family, our Catholic faith. It's the centerpiece of our life. As you look at me, I haven't missed many meals. To have an opportunity to go to the North End and have a great dish of macaroni might be one of the best I've ever had. Certainly is something I'm looking forward to. My wife, Kathy, is here with me. And she's been my life. I have three children, my oldest, my daughter Nicole, she works at Georgetown, she graduated from the University of Florida, I have another daughter at Central Florida, Jessica, she's graduating in May uh, and wants to be in elementary education, teacher, like her grandfather. My son, named after my dad, Louie, is at Syracuse, he's a scholarship football player there, he's a tight end, he's a redshirt freshman. That's my family. I have a dog named Bailey, a golden retriever. That's completely out of control and spoiled. I'm here for the long haul. And I'm here to win championships. And win championships with class and honor. And develop young men on the football field and off the football field and in the classroom. Men that are going to leave Boston College one day and are going to go make a difference in this society, in this world we live in, in a positive way. And that's exciting. I'm a teacher. And it's very important to me to know that I can be a small piece of the development of a young man. The whole young man, not just the football piece. And our football program is going to be a, more, a lot more than just about football. Now, football's big, but it's going to be about family. It's going to be about academics. It's going to be about making a difference in people's lives and in the world. I want to thank Father Leahy. I had a chance to visit with him, and that was special. That was a few hours of just uh, incredible meeting. I have a great deal of respect for Father Leahy. Leo Sullivan, a tremendous man, a great passion for Boston College. And Brad Bates. I've known Brad and known of Brad for a long time. Brad's one of the most respected athletic directors in the country. And I knew that if I ever had a chance, I'd want to work for somebody like Brad. He gets it. And we're very, very fortunate to have him here. And I'm very, very fortunate to have a partnership with him. To have a good football program, he and I have got to be joined at the hip and share a common vision and be totally aligned. And when I met with Father Leahy, Leo Sullivan, and Brad Bates, among others, in my whole career, I've never felt more in sync and more aligned. And that's the fundamental foundation of the development of this football program. And I couldn't feel better about that. I have some thank yous at Temple. Bill Bradshaw, our athletic director. George Moore, our university council. President Engler, our interim president. Pat O'Connor, our chairman. Leo uh, Lewis Katz. These are men there that took a leap of faith on Steve Adazio and gave me my first head coaching job. And I couldn't be more grateful. I'm proud of our accomplishments. I'm proud of the fact that we had a nine-win season. We won our bowl game, which is the first win in 30 years at Temple University. I'm proud of our transition into the Big East. And I'm mostly, I'm proud of the young man that I had the privilege to coach. They're great young men. They're young. They're just young freshman, red shirt freshman with a tremendous bright future. And I'm proud that maybe I could be a small part to help that program take the next step. And they will and have continued success. My background, I feel the two years at Temple as a head football coach were very, very important for my development. There's a lot that goes into being a head football coach. 
and I had two great years. My six years at Florida, two national championships, first regular undefeated season of the history of the school, being the offensive coordinator, being the associate head coach, and being the head co interim head coach when I ran the program for just under a year were just great experiences. And of course, I had great experiences throughout. Indiana, Notre Dame, Syracuse, BCS games, conference championships, national recruiting. They're all a part of what gave me the opportunity to come here. Come here. I'm a product of my experiences and the great coaches and the great people and the families that I've been around. And I appreciate that. And I'm humbled by it. As I said earlier, Boston College is a family. It's what I've always wanted to be a part of. There's a lot of phases here in this family. I think it's so important, athletics and academics. It's all, we're all one. We're all in this thing together as one. There's so many great faculty here that I can't wait to meet and other coaches that I want to meet. I've met Jerry York. What a guy. What a coach. What a program. Right here on this campus, I can go and watch a program that's being run at a high, high level. Highly regarded as maybe one of the best athletic programs in the country. A guy that you can ask questions and watch and observe. I'm so fortunate. Steve Donahue, I haven't met yet. I can't wait to get a chance to meet him. Katie Crowley, I've met Katie uh, at the Under Armour uh, outings, uh, as well as Jerry at the Under Armour outings. And she's, she and her husband are just great. So I've had a chance to be exposed to some of the people here at Boston College. I'm excited to work with the faculty and administration. I've had a chance to meet with Father Jack Butler. I've had a chance to meet with Pat Keating, Andy Boynton. I see Andy and Father Jack and Bob Taggart. And I really enjoyed it now. These guys, like Leo, like Father Leahy, like Brad, these guys have a passion for Boston College that's unbelievable and it's infectious. And when I got a chance to meet with them, I walked out of there energized. I get energized pretty easy. <laughs> I just love people that you know when you meet them and you talk to them, you can tell that it's all real. There's no phony act. And it's a breath of fresh air. We have a proud football alumni. I look at the impressive list of quarterbacks. We have a Heisman Trophy winner in Doug Flutie. I remember sitting in my family room watching the pass. I remember that. In fact, I, I told uh, Leo, little known fact, I had a chance to come here right out of college to be a graduate assistant with Coach Bicknell back in 1981. And I decided to go chase my dreams playing pro football. I often look back and say, boy, I wonder if I had been a graduate assistant at Boston College. But I guess if faith has it, I'm going to have a chance to get to Boston College. Matt Ryan, Matt Hasselbeck, Glenn Foley, what a list of quarterbacks, incredible. First round picks, Luke, Luke Keekley, Anthony Costanzo, B.J. Raji, Matt Ryan, uh, Mark Herzlick, uh, battling brain cancer at the New York, uh, battling cancer, I'm sorry, at the New York Jets. What a story that was. I met Mark in the airport a couple years ago. And he stopped me and he said, hey, coach, you know, we talked for a little bit. And I was like so taken away by what, it, what, what kind of young man he was. Just incredible. CEOs, teachers, doctors, lawyers, scholars, TV personalities, and many others giving back to this great, great BC community. Just incredible. Students. I came on the campus today, my wife and I. What a campus. It just blows you away. You, you come into campus like, this is absolutely beautiful. And then you see this stadium in the center of campus. And you say, boy, how about to be a student at Boston College on a football Saturday and roll into that stadium and just you know, smell people cooking and the game getting ready to play. And what a New England environment. And I can't wait to, to see it. I guess I've seen it in the past when I rolled in here a couple times to play at this stadium, but I can't wait to be the, a part of it inside. Really, really, really something. I can't wait to get these students. Students make such a difference, the energy and the passion. It's the college experience. It's incredible. 
our faculty. We're all in the business of growth and development of student athletes. And I want a partnership. I want our faculty to come out to practice. I want to invite different faculty to be guest coaches. I want to walk on this campus. You know, I can only take so much in that football room now. There's only so many times I can watch a play being diagrammed. I want to walk out and say hi to students and, and meet faculty and, and go into the cafeteria and just really enjoy this campus. The city of Boston. I mean, what a proud sports city. What a rich sports city. Incredible. An incredible city with a lot of passion. And I feel like that'll work fine by me. Because I like passion and I like people that get excited. It's time to turn the page. Come together, unite, all working together for the same goals. Boston College coming together. Fans, alumni, coaches, faculty members, administrators to unite as one, to be powerful. Excited about that. Vision, my vision. When you press play on the video, <clears throat> what I expect and what I want you to see is a team that plays with energy and passion and a love of the game and is excited. A team that plays hard, a team that you can tell loves the game of football and treats it like a privilege and not a right. When you press play, I want you to see that team compete, and that's what I want you to see because that's what it's all about. Respect the game. Respect the game. The team, the team, the team. Coach Schembechler talked about that at Michigan. The team, the team, the team. One of my proudest moments in coaching was in the locker room this season. We had just won a game in overtime. And we started talking to the team all week long. We talked about we had to play as a team. And in the locker room, they started chanting, the team, the team. And I saw a group of young men understand that it was all about the team, not one individual. And we won because we played like a team. And the joy and the energy that you get from that and the excitement because we all show off from each other and we want to be a part of a team and be a part of something great. Individually, with no one to share it with, has no meaning. The plan to win, I've got a simple plan to win. From a football standpoint, play great defense, run the football, Score in the red zone, be great on special teams, don't turn the ball over. That's the plan to win. That's, the, that, that's what I fundamentally believe in. Offense, defense, special teams, I've been in them all. I've been in spread, I've been in option, I've been in eye, I've been in three tight end, two tight end, no tight end, five wides. They all work. They all work. Our offense will be dictated by our personnel. We're going to play to our strengths. And we're always striving for great balance. On defense, I never want to be a bend but don't break. I want to go after people on defense. Be aggressive. You talk to your kids. You don't talk to your team and, you know, like you're in a boat. You don't say, hey, let's go quarter throttle. Bam! You go full throttle and you bang it and you go. I want our team to play like that. That's how I want it to be. Hey, guys, let's get fired up. Take it easy. Recruiting, student athletes that embrace their education and have a passion for their game. Captains of their teams, great character. That understand that it's a privilege and not a right to play college football. 80% of our players come from the Northeast, come from the Catholic Leagues, Ohio, Chicago, Indianapolis, and of course we have a splattering nationally. Who wouldn't be excited about Boston College? A premier education in the city of Boston in one of the most beautiful environments there is in the country. Recruit, recruit, recruit. Our staff, our staff. I'm going to bring great family men in here, great teachers, great passion and energy, and align with the vis vision of Boston College. That's my goal. That's what's going to happen. I'm in the process of meeting with the coaches here, the staff here. There's so many great people here. But my commitment is that our staff, when completed, will have those traits. And that's so important. <clears throat> Where we were here at Boston College, great history, great teams, 
1982, ranked eighth in the country. 1984, ranked fifth in the country. 2000 to 2005 to 2008, top 25 team back-to-back -back ACC champion games, championship games. Eight straight bowl wins, 2000 to 2007. Where we are right now today as we stand here, we're currently not playing in a bowl game. We're disappointed. We're hungry. I talked to the team earlier before I came in here. I said to the team, I said, if you sit in that chair, I hope there's a disappointment. I hope it hurts. I hope there's a hunger. I hope there's a... I hope there's a drive. I hope, I hope that you understand that you came to Boston College to win championships. <clears throat> and I hope that fuels as we start this off-season workout program. Because we're all striving for success and we're all competitors. How we're going to get there? With a great off-season. By pushing each other. By pain and sacrifice by strong will, a tough spring, a great summer, leadership by our seniors, and a foxhole mentality. That's my job. And we're going to have the toughest offseason we've ever had. Winter conditioning, spring football. Because with pain and sacrifice, you build bonds. And we're going to build a great chemistry. And we're going to feed off that hunger that's in everybody's belly and that disappointment. And we're going to drive. That's what we're going to do. That's going to happen. Step by step. Nineteen eighty, nineteen eighty one, nineteen seventy nine. I was at Central Connecticut State University. At the end of every season, I get in my car, meet a couple of buddies, and we drive and we go watch Boston College play Holy Cross every year. And even back then, I knew I wanted to be a college football coach one day. And we would drive up to that game. And, of course, this was premier Division I football program in New England. In, in my world, growing up in Connecticut, Boston College. And I sat there, and I'd watch that game. And I'd say to myself, boy, one day, I'd love to bring my team out on that field. I'm honored, I'm humbled, I'm excited, I'm determined. You're going to get the best out of Steve Adazio, my family, and my staff, and my program. I'm proud to be a Boston College Eagle, and I won't let you down. I've got drive and I've got energy, and I've got a love and passion for what I do for these student athletes and for Boston College. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for listening to me. I'm looking forward to a great relationship with everybody here, media, coaches, faculty. This is an open door here for everybody. It's an open door to come in, to visit, to watch, to be a part of, to wrap yourself around and get excited about. We're one family, and together, we're going to have great success. Go Eagles.